This past weekend at Money in the Bank, John Cena officially announced that his last year of wrestling will be in 2025. So we're going to be playing through John Cena's last year from January all the way to December with one goal in mind. John Cena is tied for the record for most World Heavyweight Championships with 16 title reigns in his career. We are going to be seeing if Cena can capture number 17 before the year 2025 comes to a close, and it all starts here at the Royal Rumble. So for the last time in his career, John Cena is entering the Royal Rumble. He has already won two of these. Can he make it number three? A lot of old time Cena foes in the ring right now. You've got Randy Orton, you've got CM Punk, and they are picking up right where they left off right now, going right after each other. John Cena right now got LA Knight on the ropes and he's gonna eliminate LA Knight. Cena's first elimination, and it is L.A. Knight. Cena gonna have to be careful, though. Drew eliminates John Cena. Wow. And that was it for John Cena's Royal Rumble appearance, his last Royal Rumble. And the question going through everyone's mind now is where does Cena go from here? Well, with the Elimination Chamber coming up, he would have one more opportunity to get that shot. But he would have to win a qualifying match here on SmackDown against none other than the phenomenal AJ Styles. These two have had some classic matches in the past, and this one would be no different. Cena would get the early advantage. It was a more aggressive John. Are we going to see big match John come through one more time in his career? Looked like we were going to get some vintage Cena here, and he was going to walk into the Elimination Chamber and get that shot at potentially getting his 17th championship as he would go here for the five-knuckle shuffle here on AJ Styles. It was going to be countered here by AJ Styles, who then would get the submission hold in on John Cena, and this was going to test how bad does Cena want it here? Is he going to tap from AJ Styles? Ropes nowhere to be found. And luckily, Cena was able to get out of it and counter. He would then eventually hit the AA here onto AJ Styles. This was a really back and forth match. But Cena hits the AA, goes for the pinfall. One, two, and three. And John Cena was finally in the win column here. Things were looking up at this point for Cena. It was going to be a tough road ahead at the Elimination Chamber. You could argue Elimination Chamber may be harder to win than the Royal Rumble, depending on the, where you come out at in the Rumble. It was going to be an uphill battle for John Cena, but it was one last shot at WrestleMania glory. He had to get through five other superstars, though, who all had the same idea in mind. It was going to be Santos Escobar, L.A. Knight, Kevin Owens, who's the Intercontinental Champion in this universe, Logan Paul, and of course, Randy Orton. We cannot do a John Cena sim without including the Viper Randy Orton in it. Let's see if Cena can pick up the win. So the match is starting off with Randy Orton and Logan Paul. So John Cena at least will not be the first two, but the question is, where will he be coming out? Obviously, the later the better for Cena. All right, who is going to be coming out third in this match? And it is John Cena. So he will be coming out third, a familiar foe in the ring in Randy Orton. So let's see how this goes. I mean, third is not terrible. Like I said, the later the better, but Cena could certainly win at third. Is already a roll up by Randy Orton too. And now a counter by Cena. And these two guys know each other very, very well, no doubt about that. So all six competitors are now in this match before there has been a single elimination. Orton and Cena have been going at it for pretty much the majority of this match. Honestly, is RKO by Orton on the Cena. There was a cover, but I don't know what happened. But John Cena is now busted open. Thanks to his longtime foe, Randy Orton. 
in an RKO out of absolutely nowhere. Can you see Cena and Orton just going at it this whole match? I think they have some unfinished business between them two. The whole match, they have pretty much ignored everyone else and have just been going at it like it's the good old days. One, two, Cena gets the shoulder up. Now Logan Paul, he gets the shoulder up as well. Cena has to be careful right here. LA Knight was lining up that BFT, but he reversed it. Good job there by John Cena to stay alive in this match. Roll up here by Santos Escobar on Cena, who's going for the power bomb. Three, and John Cena is out. Not only is he out, he is the first one eliminated on a roll up pin by Santos Escobar. So the storybook ending with John Cena getting that last title shot at WrestleMania is down the drain. Kevin Owens would go on to win this Elimination Chamber and challenge for the title at WrestleMania, but all eyes and all attention were not on Kevin Owens, but were on John Cena. With no plans now at WrestleMania, the question was, where would Cena go from here? So a 17th championship may not be in the cards right now for John Cena and WrestleMania, but John Cena versus Randy Orton is, and this match makes a ton of sense for Cena's final WrestleMania. You cannot think of John Cena's career without thinking of Randy Orton. These two guys carried the WWE through the PG era, and it's only right they have one final match. It's only fitting that John Cena's final WrestleMania opponent is none other than Randy Orton. We were hoping that it was going to be a shot at that 17th championship, the all-time record, but wasn't able to win the Royal Rumble, wasn't able to win Elimination Chamber, but here we are. 30 combined championships between these two, two of the absolute legends and pillars of the modern WWE era. These guys have had some classics in the past. Let's see if they can do it one more time on the biggest stage of them all here at WrestleMania 41 in Vegas. Early in this match, it has been all John Cena. This is a huge match for Cena because this obviously is not going to be his last match as Orton smartly gets out of the ring right there. But this is not going to be Cena's last match. So the fact that he lost those two matches already early on, the Rumble and the Chamber, he needs to get a win here if he wants a shot at, even a shot at that 17th championship. This match has now went to the outside of the ring. It has been back and forth so far. Orton and Cena have both gotten their moves in. As he just busted Cena open on the announce table. Don't think we wanted Cena showing some color in his last match. But if Big Match John is ever going to show up at any point in his career, it's got to be right now. That ref is up to seven. Imagine if this match just ended in like a count out or a double count out and that was it. That would be a little bit underwhelming, I guess, to say the least as they are back in the ring at eight. Nice crossbody there by Cena. He's going to go for a cover right here. One. And just a one count. Going to take a lot more than that to defeat Randy Orton. Again, Cena is busted open. Is a nice reversal there by Orton. RKO on the Cena. Cover. One. Two. Three. This is not the retirement tour that we were hoping for when we started this simulation. Simulating one of the greatest of all time's final run in WWE. He lost to Royal Rumble, lost to Elimination Chamber. Now has lost to Randy Orton at WrestleMania. Where do we possibly go from here? Checking in on the sim here for just a minute. We are officially past WrestleMania. 
We are into May of the John Cena Retirement Tour. He's only won one match on SmackDown. He is 1-3 so far, if you include the Royal Rumble. It's not been a great run so far for Cena. We have Backlash, we have Night of Champions, Money in the Bank, SummerSlam, Payback, Fastlane, and then Survivor Series. I'm not going to have a PLE in December, so we're just going to run this until November. I figured Survivor Series because that's one of the big four PLEs, so I want Cena to go out and not like a random PLE. Let's make it at least Survivor Series. So that's why we're going to stop there. And we're still in the hunt for that 17th championship. And at this point, I'm not seeing it. But we still have seven PLEs left to get this right. We still have money in the bank as well. If Cena could get in that match, maybe he can win the briefcase. Who knows? Point is, we need Cena to start winning some matches ASAP. And it has to start at Backlash. So Cena right now is currently fourth in the power rankings for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Randy Orton, who just beat him, is now the number one contender. Roman Reigns, LA Knight, all ahead of him, all very sound superstars that he's going to have to get by. And then if we check out the Raw rankings, Cena is also number four. Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre, CM Punk, all ahead of him there as well. So again, a lot of work to do for Cena over these next couple of months to get at least one shot at that championship to try and break the record. Let's see if he can do it. Let's go to Backlash. Another one of Cena's old foes. CM Punk. Cena's still going for that 17th title, but also checking off all these old guys he had these great matches with before punk and orton hopefully we can see him work some of the younger guys as well guys we haven't seen him wrestle before but i like the fact that we're playing the hits right now singapore cane time for punk but cena gonna reverse it gets punk in the bear hug i don't think cm punk is gonna tap there but still a nice reversal by john cena he at least didn't get hit with that cane look at this Goes for submission, but a nice counter there by Cena. Gets the elbow in, and now John Cena taken off the announce table, but Punk did not like that. Just threw him like he was nothing to the other side of the ring. And now CM Punk again looking for a weapon. This time it's a sledgehammer. And again, Cena able to get the Punk before he can use those weapons. Uh-oh, CM Punk going for the go to sleep. Punk! Go to sleep on the Cena. Cover by Punk. One, two, and Cena gets the shoulder up. Remember, Cena did not kick out of the RKO at WrestleMania, but he's channeling it here. Kicks out of the go to sleep, but this match has been a much better match than the WrestleMania one. Much more back and forth as Cena gets the Singapore cane and hits Punk in the face with it. But then Punk just counters by throwing him into the steel steps. Man, nobody can get an advantage in this match. Every time you think someone's getting an advantage, someone counters back. It has just been one of those type of fights between Cena and Punk. And Punk now grabbing the steel steps. Goes to throw him, but he just misses. What in the hell? Nice counter by Cena. Cena now. AA. Cover by Cena. One. Two, and CM Punk gets the shoulder up at two. You have got to be kidding me. Unreal. Cena going for a weapon here. Oh boy, he's got the steel chair. Just unloaded on Punk. One, two, and again CM Punk gets that shoulder up. And now Punk going to throw Cena into the turnbuckle on the outside in that ring post. And CM Punk taking back control of this match. And honestly, Cena had his window right there. He may have blew it as CM Punk goes for the go to sleep, but he counters it. AA, you got to be kidding me. One, two, three. What a finish to the match, and Cena wins. What a finish. Wow. That was awesome. 
John Cena picks up a much needed victory over CM Punk. Can he do it? Can he redeem himself and earn that title opportunity? And all of a sudden, things were starting to look up for the greatest of all time, John Cena. The next month at Night of Champions, he would turn back the clock against Drew McIntyre, getting up on the top rope, hitting the elbow drop, and pinning Drew McIntyre. One, two, and three. And all of a sudden, there was momentum behind John Cena. Is it possible? Could he actually do this after the slow start that we had in this simulation? We are going to find out because Money in the Bank is around the corner and Cena would have to win a qualifying match on Raw against a Bronson Reed to qualify for the Money in the Bank ladder match and he would do just that. And that brought us to the Money in the Bank ladder match itself. The last chance for a guaranteed title opportunity for John Cena. Couldn't get the Royal Rumble done, couldn't get the Elimination Chamber done. Could it be the money in the bank? He's going to have to get through five superstars. Shinsuke Nakamura, Seth freaking Rollins, CM Punk again. Back in the simulation, it seems like Cena cannot get away from CM Punk at this point. Sami Zayn. Yes, this is a star-studded ladder match, of course. And Jay Uso. Main event, Jay Uso. Can John Cena win the money in the bank look at john cena he's climbing up that ladder a lot of people fighting on the outside cena going for the briefcase come on john he is still up there now here comes shinsuke nakamura but hey john cena at least was able to do a little bit of work as far as getting it down smart though by cena but he's gonna get power bombed off the ladder by Sami Zayn. now everybody back in the ring and it is a crowded mess in here yet again. Jay Uso now climbing that ladder. He's reaching up to the top. There goes Jay. Cena right there. He's got to get up there quickly. And he does. Now Cena and Jay both on top of that ladder. Here comes Sami Zayn. Watch out as both of them fall off of the ladder onto the apron. Cena climbing up that ladder again. He is not playing any games. He's just going for it right now. But here comes CM Punk. Cena has pretty much just been going for it. He hasn't even been really wrestling anybody. He's just been climbing up that ladder, going for that briefcase. You can feel the desperation a little bit right now from John Cena, knowing how important it is for him to go up and grab that briefcase and get his guaranteed championship match. CM Punk getting the second ladder now into the ring. So we have two ladders in the ring as Punk goes for a suicide dive and misses horribly. So Nakamura just threw Cena into the ring, but then didn't follow him. And again, Cena's just going to set up that ladder. And CM Punk has kept his eye on Cena pretty much this whole match. Every time Cena's tried to climb up the ladder, Punk's been right there. Cena going to try and throw him to the outside. Again, he is just too focused right now on climbing that ladder. He's got to worry about clearing out the ring first and waiting for the right opportunity because right now he is just trying to climb the ladder and get the briefcase he's gotta just take other guys out first Sami Zayn is climbing up I think Sami Zayn might win this no he's gonna instead what is he doing is he gonna jump off the top of this ladder yes he does right on the Cena Punk on the outside gonna hit the go to sleep on Shinsuke Nakamura CM Punk now throws the chair. He just threw a chair at Sami Zayn to knock him off the ladder. Cena again just trying to climb here. Going for the briefcase and again getting knocked off by CM Punk. Sami Zayn there as well. Punk and Cena now on top of the ladder. Blow for blow. And now here comes Sami Zayn trying to knock them both off. Nakamura knocks off Punk. And Cena goes to the outside. A lot of superstars kind of out of it a little bit. Cena going up to the top here. But Jay on the defense. Seth Rollins as well. But Cena fights off Jey Uso. Now on top of the ladder with Seth Rollins. But here comes Jay. 
And Nakamura going to try to get Rollins off, but he's still up there right now. Everyone else kind of working. There goes Seth Rollins going for the briefcase. He may have it, but the ladder tips over and Rollins hangs on now. Gets power bomb down. My goodness, what a match right now. Nakamura climbing up to the top. Everybody else is out of it. I think this may be it in case Cena can get up there quickly. Cena's got to get up there. He's going to have to do something here. He doesn't. And Shinsuke Nakamura. Probably the biggest underdog in this whole match. Climbs the ladder and wins money in the bank. So while Cena wasn't able to win the money in the bank, he was showered with chance as he left the arena. John Cena is not known just for his 16-time WWE Undisputed World Heavyweight Championship reigns. He's also known for being the United States Champion. He first won this against the Big Show at WrestleMania. He famously had the Spinner U.S. belt, the Open Challenge for the United States Championship later in his career. And I think the game has agreed with me that maybe Cena needs to pivot a little bit because we are at SummerSlam and they have put him in a match against the current United States champion Ashanti the Adonis and so Cena pivoting a little bit away from going for that 17th championship reign for the time being to focus on the United States championship so our first title match in this whole simulation is not for John Cena's 17th world title it is for the United States championship I like the wrinkle they're throwing us here why not have Cena go for the U.S. title as the title he also made famous throughout his career. So let's see if John Cena can beat Ashanti Adonis and pick up the U.S. title one final time. Oh, Cena just busted open Ashanti Adonis with one right hand. And now Cena going to the top rope, hits the elbow drop. John Cena not messing around early on in this match. He has been in complete and total control as he hits the power bomb goes for the cover right here one two for a second i thought that might have been a three count donis right here getting cena with the little snake eyes on the turnbuckle i've been impressed with adonis in this match he has not been shying away from the challenge of fighting cena he's been putting up a good fight so far it's been Pretty back and forth. Cena was in the advantage early, but Ashanti's really fought back in this match. You gotta give him a lot of credit. He's feeling himself now. He is feeling himself now as he hits the clothesline. John Cena's in a little bit of trouble here right now. I can't even lie. As a nice reversal there by Cena right on cue. And Cena now looking to get back in control of this match. Hits the power bomb on Adonis. There we go. Cena back in control. Cena again going to the top rope. He has gone to the top rope a lot in these matches. It's the five knuckles shuffle from the top rope. Are you kidding me? Cena is now sizing up. I think we all know what he is sizing up for. Well, at least I thought it was an AA. Okay, here we go. AA onto Adonis. This may be the match right here. And oh, wow. Ashanti Adonis just countered the AA after getting the super five knuckle shuffle and then hits him with a drop kick. What a comeback from Ashanti Adonis right now. Oh boy, he's lining him up in the corner. Cena's got to watch out. Super kick. One, two. Oh, Cena gets that shoulder up at two. Woo, that was close. Uh-oh, John Cena, here we go. You can't see me. Looking for a little five-knuckle shuffle, and he hits it. See if he goes for the pin or goes for the AA. He's going to drag him away from the ropes here, maybe go for the STF. I would try and pin him at this point. He's going to. The AA did not work out last time. Two, three, and it is over. John Cena has done it one more time in his career. He is the United States Champion. That is awesome.
All right, so taking a look here, we are at fast lane, and I want to take a look at the rankings for the titles because Cena right now is not in any rivalries or anything like that. And if you look at the divisions, he's actually the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, which is currently held by CM Punk. And if you take a look at the SmackDown rankings here, he is actually second behind Roman Reigns. Now, if you take a look at the fast lane pay-per-view that the game has booked for us, you will look at this main event here and see that John Cena officially has his first shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. This would almost be a storybook ending to what has been an amazing sim here, simulating John Cena's last year in WWE before his retirement. CM Punk, one of his arch rivals, I would say if you're talking about the Mount Rushmore of Cena and his rivals, I think Punk, Orton, Edge, and maybe JBL, probably the top four in my opinion, my favorite rivalries, just the best that he's done, what kind of made his career, those four have to be at least mentioned for the Mount Rushmore, and how fitting is it that here, right now, John Cena has a chance to break a record that was thought to be unbreakable, but he has to get through CM Punk to do it in a last man standing match. And here we go. Again, this is a last man standing match, as I said before, so everything is legal. They can go anywhere in this arena. The only way this match can end is if one person cannot get up to the count of 10. So no pinfalls, no submissions, nothing like that. Everything is legal in this match. And let's just see the last time these two guys fought, the match was epic. John Cena picked up the win. Punk now is the champ looking for his revenge and doesn't have to worry about getting pinned. Referee counting here. CM Punk just hit an elbow drop. And I don't think CM Punk wants her to count quite yet. He's looking for a go to sleep here. Punk has been in total control of this match. Go to sleep on the Cena. CM Punk has been in total control of this match. And Cena is out right now. Referee is up to four. Referee is up to five. Is Cena going to get up here? Is this going to be the end of the match? This would be pretty anticlimactic. Nine and Cena gets up at the count of nine, but the fact that it took a nine count already Not a good sign for Cena. He has not really done much in this match so far punk has been in control Oh boy CM Punk now Taking away that announce table here Gonna maybe use that as he's gonna go for a second I thought he's gonna go to go to sleep again right there instead just drive Cena face first into the side of the ring we're already to the point in the match where whenever they do a big move, they are letting the ref count here. As Cena gets up at four that time, so much better job by Cena to get up there. It took nine the first couple times, but only a four there. Springboard goes for the clothesline. Thought he barely connected, but enough to drop Cena. And again, that referee is going to count. Again, after any big move, really, the ref is going to count. They're going to let him here as it's only up to four. Past couple times, it's just been a four count. Cena's been able to get up, which is a good sign for John Cena. As Punk looking like Randy Orton hitting the scoop slam there. Again, the referee is going to count. Don't know if that's going to be enough to keep John Cena down. And CM Punk knows it. He's going to pick Cena up here. And this time, he's going to look for a go to sleep. And this could be the match right here. Cena's hopes and dreams of a 17th world title just went to sleep referee at three and i think that's gonna be it punk is doing push-ups over john cena's corpse ref up to seven i would be shocked if cena got up here and he does and he does springboard clothesline by punk cena gets up after the go to sleep and cm punk goes literally right back on the attack here John Cena down and hurting again, though. Man, CM Punk has done a lot in this match. Referee up to five. This could be it, honestly. I mean, you never know at this point in the match. Referee now at eight. She's up to nine. And again, Cena gets up. It's taking her forever to count there. 
Oh, Punk and the submission in on Cena here again. No submissions. Cena is tapping in the middle of the ring. And oh no. Another go to sleep here. But I think Cena countered it. Looked like they were going to go for the go to sleep, but I think Cena countered it there. Believe that's what he was going for. Now Cena's looking for an AA. Can he hit it here? AA by Cena. Count. What is she doing? Cena. Can he make history? Three. Punk is out. Could this be it? Six. Refs up to seven. Cena's feeling it. Punk gets up at eight. Oh, boy. We got some vintage John Cena right here for you, folks. Two shoulder charges. Misses it. Drops Punk down. John Cena is feeling it right now. Do you feel it, folks? You can't see me. Do you feel it? Five knuckles shuffle. He connects on the CM Punk. CM Punk is down. The ref is counting. Oh, Cena's not letting him off the hook here. He's going for it. Oh, he went for the AA. He didn't connect. Springboard clothesline by Punk. Oh, my God. I think Cena should have just let him stay down there. Instead, he tried to hit the AA. And CM Punk is hitting the go to sleep. Oh. My god that actually that actually just happened refs up to eight nine ten unreal he had it Cena had it. He hit the five knuckle shuffle. He had him down and he went for the AA. Punk countered with the springboard and then the GTS. And John Cena. He couldn't get it done. Where does John Cena go from here after this loss? I don't know. Was this his one shot? to capture that 17th belt or will he get another chance at Survivor Series? So despite the heartbreak at Fastlane, John Cena was still listed as the number one contender for the undisputed WWE Championship, a belt that Cody Rhodes held this whole simulation and I thought it was only right for John Cena's final match. He got one last shot at defeating the record, becoming a 17-time champion against the new face of WWE Cody Rhodes. Here it is, folks. This is the last match in the simulation here at Survivor Series. John Cena, Cody Rhodes, Cena's final match. So for the last time ever, John Cena will make that run down to the ring. The last time is indeed now. And with John Cena being listed as the number one contender, like I mentioned, it was only right, I think, to give him one more shot at the belt. This time, going against the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And this match, to me, makes a ton of sense. You have the biggest baby face of the last era versus the biggest baby face now. This is a match that I think needs to happen, and I'm glad it is here in the finale of this episode. Cena, Rhodes, WWE title. Let's go. So here we go. Cody Rhodes has held this belt the whole simulation. He's fought Roman Reigns a couple of times, amongst other people. Bobby Lashley, Randy Orton, and he has defended this belt for a whole, what, year and a half at this point, but maybe his toughest competitor yet in the 16-time champion, John Cena, in his final match, a hungry, motivated Cena. Can he beat the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes? Can he break the record after the heartbreaker that was last month's match against CM Punk? I, I don't know, man. I don't know. At least early on in this match, it has been much better for John Cena. Last match, Punk just was kind of whooping him a little bit early.
But this time around, Cena's getting a lot more offense in, which is certainly good to see. You love to see that from John Cena. But again, got to keep it up here. Again, Big Match John, we need you. One final time in your life, you need to channel Big Match John and pick up this victory. Look at the power here from John Cena. Still going strong in his 23rd year or whatever it is. All the title reigns, all the matches later. Think about that. That all of the things that John Cena's done in his career, how many matches has he had? Thousands of wrestling matches at this point. And this is it. This is the last one. This is going to be crazy to see. And uh oh, you can't see me. We got a little five knuckles shuffle here from John Cena on the Cody Rhodes, but Rhodes counters. This is one of the very few matches that I will not root for Cody Rhodes, by the way. Cena smartly going to the outside of the ring, but look at Cody Rhodes with a crossbody from the top rope. That was an impressive move, to say the least, by Cody Rhodes right there. As the countout is now on, I believe Rhodes has his finisher at this point as he's getting Cena back in the ring, and obviously John Cena has to worry about the crossroads right here. Nice job to get back on the offensive there by Cena as he's going to go for a little springboard stunner himself. Love that move by John Cena when he does that. Oh, good reversal there by Cena. That might have been a finisher, and I think he may have countered it here as John Cena. Is he going to be able to hit an AA here? He's got Rhodes up. AA! Yes, John! Come on! One! Two! It's a two count. It is a two count. Cena now going on that top rope. He's done that a couple times in this episode. And Rhodes counters. Cody gets out of the way right there. And now he's going to go for a figure four leg lock. Yeah, he's got the figure four leg lock locked in. Cena, though, going to counter the pressure back onto Cody Rhodes right now. Rhodes getting back on the offensive. Obviously, we, like I said, we know Cody Rhodes is not going to just go away easy here. Picks up Cena and throws him down. But John Cena's done a good job of avoiding the crossroads. And all of that is two. Imagine if that would have been the end of the match. That would have been <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Cody here, pedigree? Pedigree! Yes, he does! Pedigree! Cody, though, how much does he have left in the tank at this point in the match? Oh, he's eyeing Cena up for the crossroads right here. He's got him. Crossroads. Cover here by Cody. And this could definitely be it too. And Cena gets the shoulder up. Let's go. Oh, snap. Cody's eyeing up a second one here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Crossroads number two. Crossroads number two. Bus Cena open. Three. Wow, man. And just like that, it was over. All of the matches John Cena's had in his career. All right, so that will do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed this quite John capture Cena the Sim. It's unfortunate that he cannot get the hell of a championship. Year but like all of my Cena, Sims, there was only nothing one is thing left to I do let the now. Game take pretty much total from control from the fans and, and the faithful in attendance. Happens. He had two opportunities. He John worked his way Cena, back. The greatest up at of the all time. Slow start. A proper had two shots at it. Won the United States Championship. And a final. Had two shots at it. One on each brand and could not get it done, unfortunately. So Cena remains a 16-time champion. Ends up tied for the record with Ric Flair and does not break it. But again, thank you all so much for watching. I greatly appreciate anyone who stops by to watch my videos. I appreciate all of you so much. Be on the lookout for more WW2K24 content, and I will see you all in the next video.